Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see it has some interesting features. The drawing is here with all the data. We start by creating this line, curve, with dimensions 225, radius 50, 70, radius 265, and 700. We'll add to the left a line with the dimension of 300 minus 175 to go here in this point we need this good let's do this new standard millimeters ipt xy plane and we draw that uh, entities i don't start from the center point be careful Keep press the left button and go somewhere here. Then not pressing anything, you find the tangent. Keep again, press the left button and go to obtain horizontal to here. Good. Now I apply the entire length of uh, 700 plus 300 minus 175 now everything was scaled my friends and we can place now this end point to the center point then to place dimensions this uh, uh, this point and this point have uh, 700 distance and this uh, center is below this one and now I can place this dimension of 225 and this distance of 70 now radii 2 65 and 50 now we have a fully constrained sketch yes good finish sketch and we use this plane to create a new we have to create uh, this contour dimensions 75 20 20 again and 100 I mean this uh, hatchet area yes okay the center point is here and it is already projected in our sketch why because it is the center point of the model i draw a rectangle another rectangle i place uh, lines special to be modified this 
center is in the center point on the same vertical which in this context is horizontal this center is placed on the same vertical with that one and this one also here equal equal is this with this and equal is this dimension equal this dimension with uh, uh, this dimension and also this dimension with this one there are 20 this is 100 and uh, this is 75 fully constrained sketch now we have a combination of uh, entities and we can apply sweep sweep of this three areas and the curve is this okay we go further to create this uh, uh, feature you see what are the dimensions 100 is by taken from the previous and we ignore the hole radius 80 outside radius 52 inside 20 is also taken from here good this is the face for a sketch to be revolved i make all of them as a construction and now i extend uh, this one and this one I make them collinear this is okay this is okay but this is not okay oh it is this is not I apply collinear between this this and I hope this is okay also collinear are these two and we draw a vertical line somewhere we draw another line as a center line between these two midpoints this is a center line and now we apply dimensions this is diameter of 80 multiplied by 2 and this is a radius a diameter of 70 multiplied by 2 because these are no 52 not 70 52 these are uh, radii yes good what <laughs> to do now now we draw other lines this one and this one and 
let's see what happens revolve this all this and this about a known axis okay this part has a hole with a diameter of 70 to the part hole 70 is already placed here this face and this center okay I suppose that you understand that this is a very big part the weight is uh, almost 130 kilograms my friends we continue with this and this point is the end of the constructed uh, that uh, sweep you see here all the dimensions i don't mention them and let's do the sketch we use this plane for the sketch we draw a rectangle with its uh, midpoint placed right here and with two lines two equal lines from the left side of the rectangle to the midpoint of this end the angle is 90 but the sides are equal equal this with this now we are sure about the symmetry we can split this line to make it a construction line then the other dimensions this is 475 you understand how <laughs> large is this part and this is 300 we apply a radius a fillet with a radius 135 <laughs> one is here and the other here there are two slots dimensions are 125 radius 31 position 100 with uh, 65 we don't use this uh, dimension because we used uh, this point of course the axis is parallel to the side we use uh, slot center to center we hover here to catch the parallel and we place dimensions this is 125 and the radius is 31 the position is 100 from here and 65 from the button now we have a fully constrained sketch as you can see here we project the x axis we make it the uh, construction line and we apply mirror to obtain the other slot mirror line is x 
apply finish sketch we apply extrude on uh, the thickness of 152 extrude this this and this not up but down the value is 152 and join okay let's apply some fillets all of them are radius 30 and you see where are they here and here and inside I select one of them an edge fillet 30 and I apply to this big very big part all that fillets you see I hope I didn't miss anyone okay let's see what is the volume high properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is almost the same we keep the last version because this is what we created here the material is uh, still carbon the view is uh, default lights and we eliminate edges smooth dark sea green that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye